and alcohol markers. So we're gonna head over to Michael's. I'm gonna choose the colors that I want from like the art store uh, just because when I was looking at the packages, they don't have all the colors that I want and it's like a dollar per pencil. Like for example, like you'll see a whole pack for $129 but there's shades in there that you could use like to paint like a portrait for example but then there's like half of the other colors you don't really need so I think we're just going to kind of create a palette that I like and so let's see what we find. Before I went to go stroll on a art haul spree I evaluated the colors that I had and I didn't have any colors that I wanted so I just went ahead and made a mental list in my head and I'm gonna take these colors out and I just use a regular mechanical pencil. So I found the cutest Hello Kitty um, soup bowl. It's just super cute, it has these chopsticks. I'm not gonna get that though, but your girl found a palette and it's a mix of powder blues, uh, baby pinks and burgundies. And I was testing out the sketchbooks. By the way, the sketchbooks are 40% off. So you can get a good deal of sketchbooks whenever they're having a sale. Obviously, this is something that I need. By the way, another thing, I did tell you that these painting easels, if you're interested in painting, are literally 50% off the price that I used to buy them for. Look, there's this big easel for $12.99 and i think the highest price one here is 62 dollars or 70 dollars for the alcohol markers these were also 40 percent off at the hobby lobby that i went to originally they were 5.99 and i got the master's touch alcohol markers for 177. i spent a total of 41 dollars and 96 cents so I decided to get this drawing sketchbook for $6.99. Uh, the, the smooth paper texture I thought would be perfect for a drawing. Uh, there's also like bristle paper that you can draw on. But this is just a 6 inch by 8 inch and it says it's excellent for just dry media. And I kind of felt the paper and I was like this seems perfect. Now it does only come with 48 sheets but it is good quality paper. I got these little pencil sharpeners. One, so yeah. I think I might actually try using just this one for my eyeliner. I got this pink eraser because I, I am drawing with a mechanical pencil right now, but I just thought that it would be better to have a thicker eraser. I would like to have like an eraser this big if I could, a giant eraser. And then I got some Sharpies. This car is like parking or trying to find parking space but I'm, I'm just waiting for my tacos so these are all the colors that I got uh, I got sky blue pink tender aquamint cream pale blue uh, blue mint blue pale purple Indian blue and salmon pink so yeah I cannot wait to use these stay tuned for a little draw with me Normally I have drawn with Crayola, but sometimes those pencils uh, break and you can draw really good with those, especially if you know how to blend well. It doesn't matter what type of pencils you have, but I only got a select few of these pencils just because, again, I didn't want the whole pack of Prismacolors and it's not even the colors that I want. They were $1.99 each. I have this rose hot pink pencil, this is process red pencil, and it's just kind of like this dark fuchsia color to make it easier true blue pencil which it's called true blue but it also you might know this color as caribbean blue on your this white pencil it doesn't it's not showing up as black pretty adorable uh kind of delicate amethyst purple color flowery type of color just really pretty color that i could not pass up kind of like a it's more pale than your average Caribbean blue or electric blue color. This one is sky blue light. I just love it. It's like a baby powder blue. If you're an artist, you can definitely tell the difference and you're very particular about which blue is this blue. Very excited to do a draw with me. That's what I got from Hobby Lobby. 
and time to go get this taco cap. These tacos, I just finished talking to her on the phone for three Kairangi Saga tacos, and that's all I ordered. It was $17.53. So, I'm not sure if tacos are cheaper where you live, but here in Austin, it's really hard to find good Mexican food. So, um, you bet I'm gonna give them the $17 just to have some good Mexican food. It's so hard to find here. By the way, when I went to Michael's, I saw that they had some artist sloth markers and they didn't seem nearly as good as the Master's Touch at Hobby Lobby. They were selling them for $4.99, dollars 
with no discount and i just wanted to let you guys know the prices out there and i even tried using one of their colors and it did not look like the actual color that was represented on the tube that is all thank you so much for watching this video guys let me know your thoughts and opinions hit that subscribe button hit that like button and if you are an artist let me know how you're doing 